Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Ifti Pondo and in this video, I would like to show with you a setting which you can use to prepare a Nansible control node. So I'll show you all the process which you can go through setting the user on the control node and the user which you can configure on the node which you want to manage with Ansible. So I'll go on my computer and show you how you can do that. As you can see on my screen, I have uh, different computers or so I've already configured SSH connection on those computers and I will go and connect to the control node. So on this control node, I have uh, two users, a user which can, which have SSH access and the user which I will use to manage my Ansible node. The user which I use to connect to is here, as you can see on the screen. And the user which I use to manage node is Ansible. So I will just do SSU minus, minus A minus Ansible to connect as Ansible user, the user which I use to manage nodes and handle the password, which is password. And here I will just do LS minus L. I have one folder which is named setup. So I'll connect, access that folder. And here I have my Ansible configuration. So I'll just show you how it works and I'll go to all the steps to show you how you can configure that. So I'll just do Ansible dash M module ping and I will ping all hosts. So you can see I will have, I have different nodes and with this Ansible add hoc command, I can breach all my nodes and I will show you all the configuration which you have to do to have this setting working. So I will disconnect as a user on Sibo. And in my case, I would like to change the user and create another user, which I will use to, to manage my nodes. So consider that I create a user John. So if I do get int pass WD John, so there is not the user John actually, I will create that user. So I do user add sudo john user add john no i won't do that i will do that using a playbook so i'll do like ls minus l and i'll create another folder so i do mkdr config and i will open that folder and here the third thing which i will do i will create a configuration file for Ansible. So it will be via vim ansible.cf cfj and here are her defaults and another section which is the privilege escalation. And on the default part, I will have when I execute Ansible playbook, I want to, to act as a pseudo user. And for that, I will just add become equal true. And also I want to specify the inventory file, which will be used. And I'll go here and add inventory equal inventory. So my file will be named inventory. And also I want to have uh, an become is part of privilege escalation not be part of default and i also want to ask to us to have ssh key she checking so with that i will use host key checking equal true and uh, here i'll add also add remote user equal to ansible no not ansible i will have john so i'll have the same user on the remote host and uh, on the privilege escalation part, I will add become and which user I want to become is root. So I'll do become user equal root. And the method which I want to use is sudo become method equal sudo. And also I want to not ask for the password when I try to access. So I'll do become ask pass equal false so i have my configuration of ansible 
there are many configuration of Ansible which you can get by using Ansible config in it. So there are many configuration of Ansible, but I'll just use the configuration file which I use, which I have just few key in that configuration file and all the other will be state at the default. And I'll exit. And I want to create also the environment environment inventory file inventory and here I'll have node one two three dot local dot dev so here I'm just using some way of auto completion we in inside of an inventory file instead of having to type node one dot local dot dev node two dot local dot dev and uh, node two we just with just this line ansible will uh, create all the other name without me to have to define that in the conf the inventory file so i'll delete all this line and leave only that one so ava uh, as i have the ansible configuration file and the inventory file i one thing which i want to do is to create the user join locally so as i did previously ansible pass wd john i don't have that user john and i want to do that using a playbook and for that i will do vim setup initialization initialization dot yml and here i will create the playbook which will allow me to create the the user to manage my my control node so, so as you may know every playbook must start with three dash so i will go and type that three dash and after that i will specify the name it will be dash name setup initialization initialization of control node and after that i will specify the host the host will be the local host as i want to configure to create the user firstly on the control node itself so i'll do local host and uh, after that i will specify the task which i want the list of tasks which i want to, to perform the first task will be to generate a hash of the password which will configure for the john user so with that i will do name generate hash for password and here to generate that i will just use shell and use the open ssl which can allow me to generate a password so i'll just show you how a open ssl work open ssl past wd dash six and if i do one two three four five six it will generate a hash which will represent a a word hashed or a password hashed and i will do that within my playbook so i'll go back and recall my previously command and here i'll use the motor the method shell and uh, attribute will be cmd for the command which i want to execute and i'll do open ssl pass wd dash six and here i'll pass a variable named password Act actually this password doesn't exist i will show you how we can define that okay and here i'll go i want to store that hash so i can reuse it when i create that john password john user so i'll do register hashed password and uh, i'll just go here and i'll try to debug that so you can see debug msg or var 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 hashed password and uh, i'll go just here and define the variable so var var Call password and the value will be password one two three 
save it so as i've already defined my playbook i can now go now and execute that playbook so i'll do antibor playbook setup initialize as i've already configured a become and uh, not ask password for now i'll have to specify those password with as i've haven't configured ssh connection yet so I'll do dash dash become or b dash k and dash k so this one is a dash dash become dash dash ask password pass though this is to ask for the password of the user with which i want to ssh to my os define my playbook and i'll also add ask key which is ask ask become pass so if i press enter i can now pass the password and press enter and i wait for it so as you can see the module which i specify in my configuration file in the the module which i use in here inside of my my playbook i use the shell module to use the open command so i can generate the hash password like i said previously and the hash pass the hash password which i got is this one this one so i want to use this password as the user of the as the password of the user which i've created in my case is the user john so i'll go and do v vim setup initialization and here i'll add another one username john and just after this one i'll do dash name create user username so here i'm using variable user inside of a a name of the play instead of a style task so for that i have to use some kind of variable interpolation and for that i will use uh, this one as it's a ginger to template so i'll do dash i'll do bracket bracket and uh, the name of the variable in my case is user and after that i will add the same bracket the closing bracket and here i will want to create the user use with the which the value is on the username var variable so i'll go here and do user the name is i'll just go here and i will delete this one the name is username and for the password is uh, st hashed hashed password not std out so this value i got it from the output which i showed you previously so if i go up here as you can see the ver the hash keyword is stored inside of the std attribute of the hashed password variable so i'll go and edit again my variable and i will create the i will specify the password and what i want again is to generate a ssh key for this user as i will start connecting remotely using ssh key instead of having to specify password each time so for that i will do generate ssh ssh key so where did i get this attribute you can check that inside of ansible doc of the user module here if i do generate you can see we have generate generate ssh key and i also want to add another one which is ssh key comment to add the comment to my ssh key as you can see this one so i'll go now and use ssh generate ssh i need it to be yes and i'll add the ssh e command which will be called to the name of the user which i want to create 
with uh, add sign follow after that i will add the name of the host so i'll do username at sign and here it will be antibol antibol fqdn to have the fqdn to have the fully qualified name of my server and after that i will have to i think it's all for now and uh, another thing which I, so i'll just save it and i'll do i'll execute that as password password so enable to read json i have an error here yeah, i forgot to close the 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 code which i opened so i'll go and close that and i will execute again my my command press enter so generate the password and create the user john so as you can see the user created if i type su dash john and the password it was password and one two three or two three i'm connected as young john user so that means i'm already connected so we'll connect again one two three and if i do ls minus l dash dash dot ssh you can see i have already the public key generated and if i do cat ssh id rsa.pub you can see the ssh key is there and the ssh key command comment which i had in my user mode is already there so I'll exit and i will delete that user i want to create the full play so you can see how it will be executed and create everything from scratch so i'll do exit no not exit i'll do vi setup initialization so after that i want my user john to be able to use sudo without password and for that i must edit the sudo file and instead of editing the user the sudo file i will have a drop in file inside of sudo sudo r dot the directory so name allow user username to use sudo without password and for that i will use the command line in file the model line in file and the it have many attribute and which i will use to be rejects to search for the line which i want to add so i'll do search for the line we start with the username user name and uh, if that line exists exists what i want to add them it will be defined as line i want to add the username and here it will be all equal all and no pass wd colon all so this will allow the user john to use sudo without specifying the password and uh, in which file i want that to be i'll write path etc sudo where dot d and the name of the file i want to use the username as the name of the file and for the ch mode i want to use 0440 so only the user can be the root user can read that file and i want also to I want also to specify states 
equal to present so that i want i want that line to be present whatever the case whatever it may happen i want that to be present inside of that file so that we i also had another line which will allow to create that file if it doesn't exist which we create yes and also i can also add this user this file to be owned by the root user as i will use become it will automatically be long to the root user so i don't have to specify that so I'll just use wq and recall again my command specify the password password yes so i have a mirror here all so just re-edit it and put it inside of a template instead of a bracket as it starts with that variable name and i will execute it again password validate and we will wait just for it to complete so it generate the hash he create the user john he allow the user john to to use sudo without password so if i do cat it is c sudo r sudo r dot d and john so i don't have permission i do sudo call that again as you can see that line is already there and if i do sudo su dash john and enter the password one two three um Call again password one two three. I'm connected as John. If I do sudo systemctl status sshd, there is no request to enter the password. That means the user John can execute any command with sudo without entering the password. So I complete that step. The next, as you can see, the user John is now allowed to use sudo command without specifying the password the next step will be to allow the user john to ssh to that server so generally you can have uh, only a defined list of users which can ssh to your server and in my case i like to configure all my servers so they can only have a specific list of users we can SSH. And that can be configured inside of a etc SSH SSHD file. So I'll go and show you that file. I will exit and come back as if user and do sudo v vim etc SSH SSHD config. And if I go at the end, you will see I have that line if and uh, see allow user if and as and I want to add that user or create to that line so that user can ssh to my server so i'll do exit and i'll go and exit exit edit my configuration again and here i'll do, go and do name name of the task allow user username to ssh to this server and for that i'll use the same command line in file so here I want to define the reject which will search for the line we start with allow user. So I will do this one, allow user. And I don't want to specify any word at all. So I want to capture everything which is already defined. So I'll do parenthesis star dot star. So I want to capture everything. And so any line we start with uh, allow and I will just grab everything which follow allow user and the line will be allow user and here I'll just anti slash and one and here I'll add the username username so after that I want to specify one thing which will allow me to take consideration of this one so for that, I will have to back ref to define back refs equal yes. So the path where I want to search for that should be defined as path etc ssh sshd dot config. And I want to define auto state 
so I don't have to specify state so I will save that and now if I do I execute again my command I'll hand the password wait for it just to complete it create the user and everything and as you can see the hello user ta tasks have been completed and if i do grep sudo grep allow users in etc ssh sshd.config i mistype grep grep you can see user john is added at the end so that means the user can now SSH to my server. After I modify the SSH.dconfig, one important thing to do after that is to restart the server. And the thing which is very interesting in uh, creating a playbook is to define an handler which will uh, run after some modification to a given file so i'll do vim setup initialization and here i'll just do after i modify the etc ssh the config i'll do notify to execute an handler and i'll do restart restart sshd and after that i will define my handler handlers and the name will be the name must be the same as the name which is provided here and the name will be restart sshd service here i'll use the module service the name will be sshd and the state will be restarted and so to see this uh, playbook working perfectly i will just delete the user john and redo all the setting by running the entire playbook so i'll do press right and i'll do i will start by deleting the user john user del remove so we can remove the home directory of the user john so it delete the user i must also go and i must also delete the error minus iv etc sudoer.d john so you can delete the user with the file which allowed user john to use sudo i delete that and i also have to edit the etc ssh sshd config so i can delete the john part so it won't be added twice so i'll press wq and now i will do I'll execute now my command Antibo playbook uh, setup initialization wb for become k for ask password and k uppercase for ask become password. Press enter and I'll enter the password. Now the entire playbook will be executed and create the user John and allow him to run the to establish SSH and after that you to also run the ender as the SSH.com SSHD config file have been modified. That's why the handler executed. And uh, so one important thing as you have seen in my file setup in the addition, I have the the password specified clearly. So what I want to do is to remove this one and use a vault file. So here I'll just var files var file and here to be var var and out info dot yml. So actually that file doesn't exist. So I'll do, go and do ansible vault create. So I will have to create the var directory and here i'll do antibol vault create and i want to create a file in var directory name out underscore 
info.yml and enter the password 123456 repeat that 123456 press enter and here i will add username john password password or hajas password press enter and now if i do cut var ot you cannot see the content of that file as it's a vault file so it's encrypted and if i want to see the content of that i was to use ansible vault view var ot info and i will have to enter the password one two three four five six press enter no i mistype one two three four five six press enter you can see the value john and uh, the password is there so i will minimize this one so now if i want to execute now my paybook so i'll go and re delete the user john user dale john dash dash remove remove sudo swan you do rm minus f etc sudo r john and v etc ssh ssh d dot config sudo ssh d dot config go at the end and remove john what and execute and now i will execute the command again if i do recall the same command which i used previously this one i enter the password now we can see attempted to decrypt but not vault secret founded so for that i will have to specify the vault to ask also the vault password so that i do dash dash ask vault password press enter and now i'll enter the password enter and the vault password one two three four five six and now it will create everything and all the configuration and run the enter as you can see on the Control node have configured everything and now it came to configure the node actually so i will go and login as john user enter the password so actually the john user is not allowed to to manage node if i do anti ball m ping from use the module ping and use like all there is no configuration panel there is anything so i have to create that and for that i will create another folder name mkdr the name will be setup as well and i will go inside that folder and i will create the ansible.config file tfg and here it will be default like i did in my previous configuration and uh, here it will be inventory equal inventory and uh, host key checking equal true and the remote user equal john and for privilege escalation path escalation become equal true become user root become become method equal sudo become ask pass equal true not true i must also i will use uh, ssh authentication ssh key based authentication so press enter and vim inventory node one two 
one two three local dot dev and uh, now uh, i will create my configuration which we config so i'll start by creating default file so like i did in my previous file it's odd info dot yml not not that so mkdir var cd not anti ball vault create var odd underscore info yml no i cancel that yml and the password one two three four five six press enter one two three four five six press enter and here to be username john and password john no password is password so here one important the password is not required you can add any password in my case i just want to use password you can add anything which you want you like and press enter and here i will do again now i'll create the configuration itself setup or configure managed nodes dot yml so here i will uh, start my playbook as usual name will be setup managed nodes managed nodes and uh, os will be all and uh, the var file will be var files so i can have the vault file so it will be var and out info file where i define the password and the username yml and uh, here task will be like this so i will start by hashing the password like i did in the previous playbook name generates hash password so shell cmd open ssl pass wd-6 and here it will be password as is the name of the variable and i will register that as hashed password and here i will create the user now create user on uh, managed nodes managed and user here i don't have to generate the ssh key as from node i won't connect on any server so here i won't have to generate ssh key as from node i won't establish ssh connection so for that i will just do user name will be username so here yeah, must put to time and uh, and the password will be hashed password dot std out okay std that, that will be whole and uh, i want also that user to be able to use a sudo without having to specify the password so for that i will do do i will do the same thing as i did on previous file so i do name allow user username to sudo without password so I'll do line in file rejects line which l line we start with user no not username start with username and the line will be username all all no pass wd all and the path will be in etc sudo word dot d and the name of the username and uh, i will add uh, state no mod zero zero four four zero okay and uh, 
that will be whole. I want also that user to be able to to SSH to the server, but I forgot one thing, which is to create that file. It is not if it's not present, so I'll that create equal yes. And for that user to SSH, I'll do the same thing like I do in the previous setup initialization playbook user username to ssh so do line in file rejects rejects line will start with allow user i want to capture energy everything and the line will be allow user slash one slash one and here had the username username and back ref so i can be able to capture this part without back ref it won't work if you just had a allow user slash one back ref and here i will do yes and the path is uh, etc ssh sshd config only those three lines and like i did in my previous uh, setup of setup initialization playbook i do the notification notification to notify the handler so restart sshd and i'll do i'll create the handler already name restart sshd service name sshd state state restarted and uh, i think that will be all for display this task and so i want also the join user to be able to SSH to the remote user without having to specify the password. And for that, I must put the public uh, SSH key of the user John inside of the authorized key of the user John on the manage node. And for that, I will create another task named allow user username to authenticate get without password and for that i will use the another module which is authorized authorized key so for that one the first thing which i have to specify is the user on which i want to add that authorized that key so the name is user the name is uh, username and the key itself i want to get it from the public key of the user john on my control node and for that i will use a a function which is defined by ansible so here it will be a plugin and a plugin defined by ansible with name look 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 up look up and i want to look up files and that file is located in home username which will be equal to john and i want to look inside of ssh underscore dot s in the folder dot ssh and the name of the file is id rsa dot pub for the public key and uh, that will be all so so that will be so i generate the 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 hash with the password and after that i create the john user and after I create the john user i allow john user john user to use sudo without password and after that i want also to allow user to join to ssh and after that the last one is to allow authentication 
with uh, SSH key. And now I can save it. And if I do ls minus l, that config. So I have everything. And one thing which I have to do is cat uh, ducata antibo.config. So here I have set os checking to true. And if I do ls minus l inside of my home directory non non host there is no non host and if i do anti ball play configure manage host b for ask pass for become k for ask password and k upper k for ask become password and also to ask vault password so I will enter everything, password, press enter, and one, two, three, four, five, six, press enter. So I have an error which is uh, could not resolve uh, authorized key. So actually the module uh, authorized key is not known. And that module is part of another collection which I have to install. And to do that, I will do just try to to check if I have access to internet on my server. So I have access, I'll do Antibo Galaxy Collection Install Antibo POSIX POSIX And I'll just wait for it to complete before we can continue. Okay, now if I do Antibo Galaxy Collection List, so I have my collection installed, and now I can recall that that command password become and one two three four five six. So I have one. Problem here, I'm trying to connect using password and that is not for you, cat. So this one is because I've already configured the, if I do cat and Cibo, conf I've already set OSCI checking to true. So if I go and VI and Cibo config and disable that, so I'll do false and call again my previous command. One, two, three, four, five, six. And valid password. So I'll check again password and press enter and one two three four five six press enter so i have uh, some problem invalid but warning permanent he had another one so actually if i do cut ssh known host so I have already those keys, so I'll try to remove them. So I'll do SSH key gen uh, node one local dot dev and I'll remove node two and node three. Node three and now I'll try again. Password press enter one, two, three, four, five, six, press enter. It's still not working. So it seems like I have some problem. So I'll do, I'll, I'll remove them again. Two and three. So what I will do now, I'll create another file which can copy all uh, key of uh, those server which i want to access to so i'll do vim setup no it will be 
vi esse set que que scan dot yml and your do name 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 will be ssh key scan and host it will be local host and uh, for task it will be so name for each use for each host get for each host scan for its ssh public key as so well do shell and it will use command which will be ssh key scan h and here it will be the name of the host which will be it item and for item i will look through the group of all us which will be i can get from uh, register not register item not item not i'll do a loop i will do group all not like this this one group all and so this will loop to all the list of user and uh, scan to get the ssh key and I will register that so I can log it. You can see what that output will look like. SSH keys. And I will use debug var SSH keys. And Cibo play SSH key. Yes. For each user, so it generates the SSH key, and you can see there is some output. And uh, the SSH key is here. There are different SSH keys, and now I will just add that to inside of the the known host of this user. Known host, I will add it inside of this file. So for that, I will do vim SSH keychain. So I'll go here, remove this one, and here I'll add name add slash update ssh public key in home so the username actually is john dot ssh ssh and known hosts and for that i will use known host module hosts and there is name which will be equal to item so i'll just have to look to this instead of this variable so i'll rename it to ssh key known ssh known hosts result or keys i will give result and here I'll do loop. So I'll look through this one. SSH known hosts result dot result. And uh, here I'll do item dot item. So here it will be the name of the host actually. Item dot item and uh, for the key it will be item dot std out and uh, the path will be path will be so high okay i will add the home no don't have to put quotes no, john dot ssh dot known hosts that will be all write and execute and if i do antibo play ssh kitchen so it will generate all the key so i have an error somewhere 
it is uh, on high term i have to add inside of double quote at is as the variable is start of that is you know start of the, that line press enter and i'll do that again it will generate everything and uh, add it inside of that uh, that non file so okay generate for the second one for the third one and now it had those key instead of if i do that ssh non host so i have all those all keys and now i can do i can now call my command again this one password password become and one two three four five six press enter and now we we'll wait for it invalid permission denied okay there is one problem actually so for become actually if i check configure i haven't specified the user which i have to use and now it is trying to use become with that john user or the user with which i execute the command so to specify the user which i want to use i will have to go here and add user it will be if have if has as if is allowed to use sudo command on that node vm so I press enter and now i'll press password and press enter and one two three four five six press enter and now it should work so okay it generate the hash and uh, there is one problem the option include with undefined variable username so i have to edit that configure manage node so here is this one user name So as I've already configured my playbook, now I want to run it on the remote server. So I'll go and do Ansible playbook. Playbook. So I'll just record the previous command, this one. And I will do under the password, password. Password, press enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, press enter. And now I will wait just for it to complete. So generate the hash, create the user and manage node, allow John user to without password and allow user John to SSH and allow user to authenticate without password and run the handler to restart the SSH the service. And now if I do now antibo minus M ping on all hosts. So now I can get green. So now my setting is uh, ready. So with the from the control node now I can perform any action on all uh, nodes. So I'll go on the node and I'll show you all the settings which have been made. So I'll go on just one node. I'll do node one, and here I'll do sudo minus a john not john. So I'll do I'll do John, yes. I enter the password. And as user John, I should be able to use sudo without passwords. If I do sudo systemctl status SSH, sshd, it returns the result. That means I can now use sudo without password from the user password. And also, I can check if the user john is allowed to ssh within the ssh not this one sudo rep allow user inside of ssh ssh ssh.config so as you can see the user john have been hard to that line as well so with this my setting is uh, working and i just want to talk about one thing which is the file 
SSH key scan which I've created inside my configuration. So this one allow me to to populate the file the file non host this one so if this file is empty so i'll just go and remove everything so i'll just do echo or remove that file completely rf rf uh, just use this one okay and if i do ls minus l oh, ls minus minus l a inside of inside of dot is is no dot ssh there is no the not us i just have the old one and now if i do i record again that command and enter the password one two three four five six So everything work as it should and uh, if I go now and check inside of the ls minus l dot ssh I have the non os which have been uh, populated automatically with uh, if I go here which have been automatically populated with uh, this uh, key value so this one kata and tibo so actually this one is uh, when the host key is set to host key change is set to false and if i go and edit and tibo and put it as true and uh, remove that uh, ssh non host I remove it and if I do again recall again my command password one two three four five six press enter I mistype the password 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 one two three four five six press enter so you see using password is not working and for that i have to and i have to use the ssh keychain which will populate the non host passwords and for that i'll use i'll use uh, ssh and cbo play ssh keychain which key scan which will scan all us define my inventory and uh, generate ssh for each host and save it inside of the non host and with that i can now connect remotely on on my server as the key for each server will be known from my control node so that is the importance of that uh, key scan uh, file and now if i check again the ssh non host you can see there are all the key for each server and this file came from uh, this value came from the if i go here, cd no sudo sudash if i go inside of cd etc ssh ssh here minus l if i cut ssh host rsa key dot pub you can see the same key which is here we can find it here this is for the node one. If I go SSH key gen dash for find node one dot local dot dev. So this one. So is this one? He start with four A and end with WC. And if I go here, it end with WC. So that is the key store in non os came from. So when I use key find my uh, control node request for uh, public key for each serve hsa server and store them inside of the name inside of the non host and after that i can uh, connect to my server with the antibo configuration attribute host key checking enabled and that will allow me to ssa to all those servers so that was the reason why i 
create that uh, I create that uh, playbook as well so that was the reason why I create that uh, SSH key scan playbook if you are learning how to use Antibo and you want to learn more on topic around Antibo or any tips or tricks you can subscribe to my channel so and ring the bell notification whenever i post new video you'll be notified and you will start learning many topics around linux and uh, other topics on linux which i'll cover in my future video so see you in my next video